Hello, everybody. Phenomenal, sir. Coming at you with, hopefully, another full run of Rings of Power. It only took two hours and a little bit of screaming and yelling, but I think I got Sega working on Steam again. Crossing my fingers. If not, we've got the trusty W Gens waiting in the wings. It's going well, Overlord. Hello, hello. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. Without further ado, let's get started. Yeah, I only had to do everything. Oh! The fame is taking over. I don't know where that music's coming from. But thank you so much for the fame, Calrea. Nothing like robbing your left hand to feed your right hand. <laughs> 25 months. I've been streaming for three years. Almost. 25 months. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to do some Rings of Power. Uh, for those of you who were here last week, you know that it was the absolutely most cursed thing that I've ever done. Um, everything that could went could go wrong did go wrong, and then some things went wrong twice. Um, it was so bad I couldn't even I couldn't even put the video up. Um, it was it was filled with mutes. Half of it was just me staring at the computer screen trying to fix stuff. Um, it was terrible. So we're back tonight. We're gonna do a light and dark challenge run. We're gonna summon our courage and we're gonna raise raise the game from the dead with a necromancer conjurer only run of the game. <clears throat> the day starts as usual on the path outside the city of mine. Time to go to the academy. Master Thalmus wants to see you. So there is one thing that I read. I was doing some research. Doing legitimate Rings of Power research. There was something that I read that made me pause. And I think I need to um, test it. I saw on a forum, somebody said that just going into the map respawns treasure chests. Which, we don't have the map yet, but if that's the case, then... Holy shit. Um, hey, Kale, welcome in. How you doing, buddy? It's working for now. <coughs> so we're going to test it and see if um, this is actually the case. Got our free gems, but you got my notes. I hope the other students come as promptly. Let's go to the practice room. I'd like to demonstrate the first sorcerer spell, Stun. For those of you out there who live in these United question mark states of America, um, I hope you're having a good Thanksgiving. For those of you who do not, Happy Thursday. I see we're all here, even Darius and Fezzik. Thank you for joining us, gentlemen. Today's topic is stun. It takes very little energy to cast and die. Yeah, yeah, we've heard this song and dance before. Shooty, shooty, bang, bang, so we can go do the quest. Come on. Let's go. And yes, I know that we don't have to do this in this order. We could just kill Al Goro right off the bat, but if we do that, then we miss out on some experience. Um, so we're not level two when we get to division. <coughs> so what if, hang on. Well, it's too late now, hang on. We'll test it when we get to the first treasure room. Brady's not very reasonable. If you have the eye, bring it to me. Listen here, old man. Oh! Oh! He might kill me. 
Fuck you, worthless son of a bitch. Oh. Uh, oh, never mind. We're good. Oh my god. I'm dead. The curse continues. <coughs> you guys have only seen me die twice to that guy. And both of them occurred, like, in the last seven days. <laughs> in at least a year, I haven't died to that guy before, before the last couple of days. That's okay. That's okay. This is fine. This is fine. Oh, that was weird. What is happening? Bro. Well, if that's the way he's gonna be, let's... <clears throat> Just kill him. It was that four hitter that he got on me. Oh my god. It was that four hitter that he got on me in the second round last time that really did me in. I don't know why Buck is pussyfooting around. Kill him! Kill him, Buck! Thank you. Alright. <coughs> and then we can't even afford 20 of this. That's okay. <clears throat> oh, we'll make up the difference. Yeah, so see here, if you don't... So that extra conversation with Thalmus where he teaches you the stun spell is worth just enough XP to deny you an extra level up if you sequence break there. If you just kill the old man right off the bat. <clears throat> Which is not normally a big deal. <coughs> Four gems, nice. 20 gold, nice, nice, nice. Another gem, nice. You've done well, Buck. This is the second spell of sorcery clue. All right, he's gonna tell us what hap what to do if he gets killed horribly. Bit rate's looking a little funky. What's going on here? Why is this so high? Hmm. Huh. <clears throat> Thank you all for coming. This is Big Left Tone. This missed his legend. Alright, doesn't look like it's too bad. <coughs> I feared that Void's influence reached this far. Students, disperse! No level up. Wow. That's a green meanie. Oh, hang on. Alright, so let's... Tune Nectar noise. Well, we're gonna have to rob every person in this town, but I think we might be able to squeeze out enough for a boat. Three flowers? 
That would be cool if it were not for the fact that we're not going for the archer this time. Something's shooting at us. The fire is shooting at us. Didn't know if maybe that would be worth XP. Okay. I will say the input lag is significantly worse on this um, on this version of Rings of Power than it is playing on the, the Gens emulator. If I could find a Gens emulator that's actually like... If I could find like an updated one that supports controllers, or at least my controller... Um, I may actually consider just playing it on that in the future. Well, we've been blessed by RM Jesus when it comes to the gold, so <coughs> we got that going for us at least. <clears throat> Hey, handsome. I want to buy a boat. Hey, neighbors, where's your boat? We didn't get a boat. We got the mystery box. Hop in. Damn, I didn't even load it up when he's attacking me. Alright, so with this challenge run, why would you be thankful for such a thing, Cleveland Tom? Why would you why would you why would you say such things? Why would you engage in such slander? <clears throat> I'll have you know, sir, that I disagree with your opinion, and that's okay. <laughs> I doubt that very seriously. I can see it now. You do. You would do a, a Star Tropics, and then you do a Rings of Power, and then you do one run of uh, Doc, Dr. Mario. <coughs> and it would be the greatest experience of your life. <clears throat> My ear is itchy. You know what that means. Uh, 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 uh. Buying overpriced ships to get around. We're not really doing this the most optimized way. Um, I would have been better off going and doing the... Um, I would have been better off going and turning in the corpse in blood before I did this, but we're just having fun. This is what fun looks like, right? Playing the same... The same broken game for 30 years in low stakes casual runs I'm either having fun or I hate myself one or the other I think it's fun I feel like there has to be a certain level of self out oh there's the dragon stone well we're, we've beaten the game y'all there's our five the, the the drops have been incredibly merciful I died in the very first fight and then foolishly skipped a level up, but ever since then, everything's coming up Millhouse. Got the tomes and the flowers right next to each other. You need me some sand? If you give me some sand, we can just go beat the game right now. Yeah, if we get magic sand, we'll we'll have everything we need to beat the game. <clears throat> I haven't gotten any sand last time I ran this game either. A corpse? Nice.
Eight stones, not Nars. Well, she is. Now I want to test this. So somebody said if you go to the map and then exit, that respawns the chests. I'll be damned. It actually does. I just... I knew about the combat thing. I knew combat would fix it. And there's our sand. Boom, baby. We're in, we're in business. Do we even open the rest of the chests? I don't, I don't know. I think at this point we just max out our food and water and we just go to town y'all oh well we've maxed out our money too okay we're getting good drops I hope this isn't a key indicator of trouble to come yeah we could like never open another treasure chest for the rest of the game and we'll um, be fine I need to do another another uh, working man's what is it working class hero challenge run never open a treasure chest other than the the holy holy seal chest <clears throat> um, not you I don't want to talk to you I want to talk to you get right up in your personal space <clears throat> We're gonna buy all the food and water right now. Alright, so we gotta go to Blood. I could go to Oxbridge. I'll have to go to Oxbridge again anyway. I was gonna say, I, sh I could go to Oxbridge and get the, um... <laughs> well, that's because you stood there too long. <laughs> you can't, you, you can never stand still. There are always invisible, invisible ass whoopings. Working their way towards you, Goblin. If you if you just leave your character standing in front of the um, in front of the the tavern where you start, you are like almost guaranteed to get attacked by a pair of um, grizzly bears within like two minutes. <clears throat> it's almost guaranteed. Why did I do that? Didn't want to camp. Yeah. Yeah, learning the buttons. For the game only having three buttons, one of which is only for talking, um, it, it does take some time. Yeah, you do that. You do that when you're zoomed. You go inside a building to turn to, to fiddle in your menus. <laughs> So we've learned something new today. We have learned that looking at the map resets treasures, which makes this a lot easier to abuse. Yeah, that's actually that's actually like world record percent right there. 
there was talk on the I, I finally got in contact with the rings of power moderator yesterday um, if you saw my post in the discords um, somebody somebody set a new world record for the game yesterday the world records 59 minutes now and I did figure out how they were doing it like I sat down and watched it and once I sat down and watched the game I almost immediately figured out what they were doing which is there's a teleportation cheat in the game if you go to your map and then press buttons on the second keyboard on the second controller pad it'll teleport you to wherever you are wherever you're looking on the map um, and that's that's essentially how they set such a ridiculously low time is um, they they don't ever have to be in any extra fights or anything they just teleport from spot to spot and beat the game that way um, which honestly see I stopped moving and that that wyvern caught up with me it's the same damn one um, which honestly makes me feel pretty good that I'm beating the game in two and a half hours actually playing the whole game and they're, they're beating it in an hour and teleporting at will throughout the throughout the world <laughs> I'm like oh, oh shit okay here we go we take those um, okay. Oh yeah, he's, wait, why did I do that? He's chasing me. Okay. So now I'm going to do what I should have done 10 minutes ago, which is go to blood. If nothing else, I could have done this faster if I had gone to blood first, because I was already over that way to turn in the stuff for the necromancer. But... What's in here, brother? Wow, okay. I thought about going to Oxbridge to get the to get the um, the pass before I go up this hill, but there is a certain level like you can over optimize <laughs> a run, and I think that might be over optimization, right? So. No! Oh, you're a fucking liar. Okay. <laughs> I was nowhere near them when I searched. <laughs> that was that was bad. <laughs> well, that boat is no longer available for use. <laughs> there's there's a there, there our ship is blocked in the harbor for now by by evil boat boat nasties. So <laughs> I'll just go buy another one. This is actually quicker anyway, to go over land. It's 
still technically level one. Bye. Ship. Oh my god, go. There we go. And... Nope. I'll just do that. Do that in a second. Alrighty. And. Can't use it yet, but whatever. Come up here. Get the sex tant. Pretty sure I already have a flip stone. Interesting. <laughs> So now you have the buckle your pants theme in Discord. Hmm. You are the chosen one. You have to take a screenshot and send it to everybody. I want to see that. I want to see what the fuss is all about. <laughs> I just want to see if maybe showing her the map is some experience points. I don't think it is. It is not. Okay. So, talking to her is not worth experience. I feel like I got something out of it. I don't know. Oh, I thought you meant it was like, like a dashboard theme. Like it's something visual. Okay. guys are chasing my ass like we gotta stop him <laughs> <clears throat> oh okay <coughs> i'm i'm auto walking right now if you're if you're on a road you can press the a button to um to automatically walk And it'll keep going until you hit a, a split in the road or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
I'm wondering... Do I have the ability to kill this priest now? Or will he just murder me? Oh, he's gonna murder me. He's got way too much health. Yeah, we'll have to come back and kill that guy later. So now we got to go to the fire cave, and I can actually get there really quickly. I can do a little shortcut here. I go back up through Cathedral, and I can loop around and then use a boat stone to get there very quickly as opposed to going all through the rivers and stuff, because I've got like six or seven boat stones, something crazy. So what we can do... So we can just go straight out here and then we can use a boat stone and the cave is right here next to this dragon flee 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 Oh, but I don't have the key yet. Duh. That's why That's why I can't do that. So this is where we run into some issues. Because I there's no way I can kill that um, conjurer. I have no chance against her. And this bear, even. Oh. I'm thinking maybe I should have gone and uh, done the ring of thought thing first. Yeah, so I can't get in to talk to the conjurers yet. So, I guess I gotta go all the way back and get Mortimer, and then I can come back. Right? Oh my god, these fucking random encounters. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm very afraid. I'm barely hanging on. <laughs> I'm about to die a grisly death. Ah! <gasps> Did you say something or was it that broccoli stalk on your shoulder? Listen here, old man. You leave George out of this. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, light and dark challenge run. It will. The light and dark challenge run is fun not the quickest challenge run in the world. Like, if you think I've already... Oh, fucking asshole! <laughs> I'm not getting mad. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> this, this fucking dragon is everywhere I go, y'all. <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> in here thought I don't even need these things I just want to feel clean again okay what if I just kill this guy just for the for the lulls oh he's got the same amount of HP okay I probably could have killed that I could have killed that um, that priest then ah well we'll be back over there in a minute <clears throat> go. There we go. Oh, well. Well. 
Nope, don't trust it. <laughs> that one might have been a merchant. He was kind of just standing there, but I didn't trust it. Check this shit out. There we go. There we go. There we go. Alright, so now we're gonna just... No. Have you no compassion? No, not at all. <clears throat> <clears throat> so we had 227 XP, which is not really particularly close to um, level 3, which is where we need to be. Get wrecked. We want to be at level 3 so I can cast a fusion. So let's just... Well, I mean, they're not worth a ton of XP, but we'll kill these guys. These quest fights. Oh, man, I am level 3 now. Hang on. Yeah, I am level 3. Okay. I mathed wrong. Hang on. Oh no, it's okay. I was wrong about the number, but I was right about not being able to cast the spell. Basically, every half of a red bar that you get, that's another level up. Alright, I think. Well, now the, the run is starting to unravel, but we got all the items we need, and we're not speed running it. We're just mall walking it. But we do want to come up here and get the Dazzle and Insane spells for Mortimer. Those are two of his better spells. And while we're here, we can top off our money. I actually want to That's a terrible use of money, but Normally you can get those for like 8 Now listen here They all look like exactly what they are. Okay. Except for the nurse. You talk about in fact Xanadu? I don't think we've seen a nurse yet. <laughs> There's a bar winch. They think exactly like no. No. You take that back. <laughs> Listen, sir, you've got a you've got a beggar next to your head as we speak, okay? I went too far. You had me so distracted with your trash talk. 
I haven't gotten the whip yet. Now I've, I've completely lost the plot. Yes, it's on Steam again, Kale. It only took two hours of rage and sorrow to get it to start working again. Alright, so you... can die. Hmm. Bat, bat, bat. Second one's attacking. We still need another 150 XP. I don't think we're I don't think we're uh, leveling up again. Short of getting another character, I don't think we're leveling up again before we get that. Um, key. We could try. I'm probably gonna die here. I want everyone to know that I'm doing this fully expecting to die. I'm pretty sure she's just gonna kill me outright, like the insect I am. She's high level. Oh, that's only going to work on the... Yeah, he's not going to cast it on himself. Alright, Necromancer's dead. <laughs> that's what she should have been casting, because that doesn't do a lot of damage. Or died, but that's his natural state, right? <laughs> okay. So she casts energy and rapids. See, every once in a while, I feel like she'll come out casting rock, and if she casts rock, then you pretty much are just F, because that's a pretty nasty um, single target spell. But yeah, I mean, we're full on money, so. I didn't just level from that. No. So he's 11 XP away from leveling again. <clears throat> so now we can come back over here. We've got the fire key. I'm pretty sure when I did this run before, I started out by doing a couple of free levels in the Cave of Thought. Which made this whole thing a lot easier. You can also use Auto Walk on Waterways. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, the wood. The wood. The fire wood. Alright. And we'll talk to her. We're going to show her the necromancer symbol. And now we got Alexi. Camp to exit faster. Alexi joins the party. Level up, level up, level up. And while we're here, since we've got money, we'll buy Master. No, this is the weaker version of Master. Hang on. Maybe that's why I never talked to this person. Oh yeah, Wave is... Not as good as it seems. Okay. Alright. Never mind. I was thinking of something else. But now, before we jump back on our boat, we're gonna just run down the hill. We're gonna go to the Shady Rest Funeral Home. For a skull. We now have everything we need for the Ring of Thought, which is actually closer to this side of the map. As long as we're being wild children. Because we actually just want to go... Not there. We want to go past there... To... Here. Which will be a... Big use of resources. But we can also get the fuzzy leaf along the way. And we've got plenty of food and water, so... <clears throat> so this is where we would go to beat the game. And also to do the maze, which I want to wait till daytime to do. Here we go. This is everybody's favorite part of the game anyway. Playing the death music while you wander through a, a maze with a palette made up of three colors. three buttons. Four buttons. I don't think there's anything down this one. I always psych myself out though. Yeah, that's nothing. Five buttons. Have to come back here in a minute. Try to get that out of order. good maybe we're no we missed one it's over there all right one more over there a little too eager got a little excited no see y'all think I know a way I'm, I know my way around this map and I really don't I just move really quickly and confidently. 
There we go, six. <clears throat> I'm just projecting confidence as I follow random paths looking for dark squares to step on. Seven. Hang on. There we go. Eight. like no matter how many party members I get I always end up getting the first ring right around the one hour mark it's just built in that it takes an hour to get to that point <laughs> and that's the fuzzy leaf go us The Fuzzy Leaf of Gomez. Yep. <laughs> I was like, well, this is life. They've got me. The Fuzzy Leaf of Gomez. You gotta trade it to keep the thief so that it, well you you're supposed to be trading it to keep the thief in the thieves town for the um for the ring of will and then when you get there he takes the leaf and is like oh by the way i traded the ring of will to a priest named yapa and he said he was going to take it to cathedral sorry um but unlike the unlike the conjurer with the ogre ogre egg you can't just uh, kill Keith to have that happen. Like, there's a flag in the game that you have to, um, you have to trade him the leaf, or Yappa will never spawn with the uh, the ring. Well, that's a meanie. Okay. Am I going the wrong way? I am, but I can salvage it. I can go this way. We'll talk to the moon people. Quest. Camp. Quest Camp There we go And this is our whole party So we're not really concerned about like Should we power level or whatever 
Um, we just go for it. So once we've got the ring, we'll go back out. We'll answer the first question like 30 times. And then we'll be good. Skull. Vessel of fluid containment is a goblet. And the ruby is the eye of Nexus. And that's the first ring. We're gonna go to 6400, um, cause we'll get enough XP from doing the other quests and things that we can get to nine. And until the last couple of rings that we do, uh, we don't really need to be level nine. Um, level eight's sufficient. I don't even have any of the spells yet, so we're kind of putting the cart before the horse. But at least this way, I've got um, I've got the HP to survive the encounters, you know. And Mortimer does have the uh, insane spell, so he can paralyze multiple party members. Alexi's going to have um, stones and blaze, so then it'll just be a matter of Buck getting his better spells when we go to um, Oxbridge, and which actually we're going to Oxbridge to do the sun quest, um, and then Mesmer in Magic Mia. Which, I guess we'll do that when we get the Ring of Variation, which we could go do now. Um, since we'll be level 8, we'll have enough health to, to run through the room. So there's that. If we're doing this right, we don't have to hear the music like an extra reward all right so ring so we're to the level of thought deceased and evocation use a nectar and now we can head straight north okay yeah, we'll head straight north across the desert. Um, we'll get another ship. And soon we shall be Gucci, fam, as Kale would say. We don't have the orb yet. We can grab that when we get our boat. It's not too far from Ricci. So, shortcut. Ob, the ob. Yeah, we need the ob. can't do a thing without the obe. Just, just the one obe, actually. Just the one obe, actually. Actually. Oh, 
Oh wait, I did figure out you can sequence that. You don't actually have to talk to her to get the quest started for the specs. Um, you sell death? There we go. Death and health. Solid uh, all targets damage spell. Quest. And then camp. Turn on a light in here, weirdo. Hiding in the dark like Smeagol. Um. I was also streaming Earthbound. Oh, I didn't see the thing about the fuzzy pickles. Yeah. I mean, really, Earthbound is, is mostly just fuzzy pickle f farming for us. Happily, I think that the worst of the farming on Earthbound is over after this past episode. We did we did spend like a solid five hours or four hours just leveling. Oh look, there's an instant death square. I rarely ever buy ships here. Look, there we go. Void has exterminated our party in 113 seconds. Um. Got confused for a second as to what I was wanting to do. <laughs> what am I doing here? Um. <clears throat> it's either eighteen five four zero or eighteen zero four five. So let's, I can never remember which it is. Somewhere one of my craft was lost. One, two, three, four, five. Eighteen, four, five. Listen here, son. Get wrecked. She doesn't have any good spells yet. Damn it. <laughs> it's okay, she'll get there. There you go. The crystal bull. And, oh wait. Let's top off the money. Because we're going to try and buy two master spells. Um, at Magic V Us. There we go. So we're going to buy master for buck. We're going to get, we're going to, well, no, I guess we won't. We, we'll just need the one because her, her blaze spell is better than master anyway. Um, so we'll do, we'll do master spell for buck and then, um, <clears throat> buy a full stack of mana.
Hey, buddy. And just like that, we're down below 10k again. Come up here. Boom, baby. Didn't even need to check the map. Oh, pro gamer. So we won't be able to use Buck's Master Spell until the very end of the game, but we've picked it up. That's the only place I know of where you can get it. There may be another place. Probably Thought. I don't know. But we do want to pick up Mesmer here. And then... I'm not sure what... Flare and Iceberg. Meh. Um. Yeah, sure. I could probably kill him. And the temple is right there, but... I'm feeling merciful. Don't take it as a sign of weakness. So we're definitely going to need as much mana as possible. Since it's just going to be the three of us. <clears throat> we're going to be going through spells a lot faster. Um... As long as we're just throwing resources in a hole in the ground, right? Got your crystal ball here. And that's the second ring of power. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Gremlins! <clears throat> that's not what I was anticipating. Get wrecked. <laughs> Jerks. Oh, miscast. Wow. Don't don't uh don't overexert yourself there. Mortimer. Is this fight really going into round three? Please no. Alright, so from here we go straight east. What's the other one? Hang on. Mm. All right, we're going for it, y'all. Boom, baby. Variation. Do, 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 do. And then we'll just walk out the back door. <laughs> and 
head on back to our little boat. Head across the bay. And then head back to our ship for faster movement and less resource usage. <sighs> so that's three rings of power down. Go us. Um, yeah. We'll, we'll stop in Oxbridge again. I know I shouldn't have saved on the overworld map there. I want to see if I can save myself a trip. Do you sell nectar? Damn it. He does not sell nectar. But he will give me a decent amount of money for stuff. I was really hoping for nectar from that guy. That sounds... Nobody say anything. No, you don't get a damn thing. Everybody gets one. You've had yours. Now you get the zapper. <laughs> no. no alms for you. <laughs> there. Two less mouths for your family to feed. God. <clears throat> All right, we're going to go to the Sorcerer's Island. Oh. Redemption? Same fucking guy. All right. This is probably it right in front of me. Yeah, I was like, did I go too far? <laughs> like, two squares away. <laughs> oh, that was a little spooky. Open sesame! And here's your orb. And now we will go to Oxbridge. Back over Yandera. There's a baddie chasing me there. We just need to go talk to the extra sorcerer in here. Show him the thought or the key of intuition. He tells me where to find it, where to find the cave. And then he says, by the way, I'll sell you a dove, which is really why we're here. We got to talk to him for the dove. We'll get the ring of intuition at the same time as the first necromancer ring. And the ring of mutation. And the Ring of Perfection. The gems for the Ring of Protection. Perfection, sorry. <clears throat> so now we're heading to Blood. And we're going to... Wait. You didn't try to kill me. Are you a Nectar Merchant? Sorry, guys. I'm flammy. Um, so that's 45 full heals. And we can...
risk it. Okay. Alright, so we got 45 nectars. That should be way more than enough. Even with losers like this attacking me. So now we're going to go... Actually, the closer are we... We're pretty close to the Thieves' Town. We're going to go talk to Keith as well. And then the next time we find ourselves over on that side of the world, we can go kill Yappa. So we're just going to get as far into this bay as we can. And then we're just going to head over land. Mysterious Keith the Thief. Legend has it that he came from another world. Actually, the game before this one. <laughs> Thanks, sucker! Four jewelries. Four jewelries. Alright, so now we're ready to go get the Ring of Will whenever we feel like it, which will be soon. First, we gotta go to the town of Shard, and we're gonna buy Alexi the last two spells she'll ever need and then we'll get our our uh, lens for the observatory I can never remember which one it is it's like one of two conjurers guilds I ever set foot in <laughs> there we go so Alexi is now competitive in PvE and PvP. <laughs> Show. Yeah, okay, so I've still got too many tomes. So we just gotta give her all of our tomes. So when she says I see you've been look I, I see you've got a lens, that's that's the flag to make the sky appear. And then show magic sand from Mesa, lens obtained, camp, and <clears throat> Next, we're going to head west to the town of Blood. We're going to roll into a bar real quick, murder some enchanters. We also, oh look, my other boat. <laughs> Park here. <laughs> Park my two ships right next to each other there. <coughs> so we've got the pass. We need to come here and get the embalming fluid. No, no, oh well. You chose violence. Wow, good mesmer. Just clap him on the shoulders. Bah! Whole damn party goes down. <laughs> That's what we like to see. Mortimer doing the heavy lift in there. <clears throat> I 
as it should be. And that's G squared. Oh, I misspoke. Rar. <laughs> now that fight was worth some XP. 50 experience points. That's when did they give experience for fights? <laughs> Have a pass. That's right. Eat it. He gives us the fluids, and then we'll buy Reaper, Rays, and Perfect. I almost never use Perfect, but we'll buy it nonetheless, um, just so I don't regret it later. We are about to go on a killing spree, so we'll earn our money back. <clears throat> Now to new Sparta. No, I lied. Drunken Dragon first. Drunken Dragon. The world famous Drunken Dragon. In theory, I could just go get Obliki, but then we're not doing the challenge run, right? I mean, I've done everything I need to get him, but... And Mortimer will probably kill five of the six enemies right here. Oh, one of them blocked. Womp. Mesmer. Huh. <sighs> Give him a stun. Just one. And get stoned, brother. There we go. A picture. So that's what we need for the ring of Um Comic Zone. The Workshop mod is on, it's on Sega Classics Collection. You need the game Comic Zone, which is one of the 99 cent games. And then you can, you can get the Workshop mod for free. Yeah, so mo so the workshop mods for this game are basically just ROMs that they attach to different um, that they attach to different uh, games. You can actually get workshop mods of the same game for multiple like like you can get altered what is it uh, not altered beast um, the immortal on multiple ones. You can get um, you can get earthworm gem for multiple ones. It's just what people decided to to attach the mod to. Um, but it's really, really all they're doing is they're replacing, like they're, they're ripping the, they're ripping the file for comic zone or whatever. And then they're just completely replacing all of the actual game assets with this, I guess. Right. Like they're just copying because it, because it's just, you're just turning one Sega game into another. So I guess they're just, they're essentially ripping out all the guts and then adding this into it. So when you choose it, it just gives you a different, like you turn it on, it gives you a different game. I don't know. I don't know how these things work. I'm sure I'm completely wrong. But yeah, for 99 cents, you can, you can, you too can own Rings of Power for the uh, Sega Classics collection on Steam. And it's the Steam Autumn Sale, so you could probably get it for cheaper than that now. So, if we just talk to these enemies through the wall here, we can fight them one at a time. Versus if we talk to the guy and show him the note, 
Right, but like each of the individual games on it, unless you already have all the games, in which case, you know. But if we if we talk to the guy, to the king, and actually show him the note, he'll open the door, and then we have to fight all of them. Like they they start attacking us one after the other. So by just doing this and talking to them through the wall, it's actually a little safer. Um, you can you can kind of manage what's going on that way and heal between fights. Well, there you go. There's no reason not to be playing Rings of Power, then. I really do need to get Jolt. Just so that I have a good single, single target damage spell for Buck. Because, um... His days and shock spells get a little weird when you're fighting when you're fighting a single opponent. Like he seems to have an unusually high rate of um miscasts. Hey buddy. Oh, he got me. Oh wait, I don't do that. Um Dazzle. Dazzle, I don't know why I keep doing Dazzle. Dazzle doesn't do shit for damage. <laughs> it's so weak. <laughs> it's such a weak spell. I don't know why I always buy it. It's just ha habit to have that multiple, like that, that multi-hit spell on him. I'd be better off using Graze or something and just hitting him multiple times. Here we go. All right. So that's what we need to get the stuff for the Ring of Perfection, which we're actually leveled up enough to do. Yeah, so we're just gonna do a lap around the world, basically, and get all the rings. So now we're going to scoot on past Sparta. This wyvern has been testing me. And then we're going to go to... Oh no, we got to go to... Um... Shoot. We got to go kill the witch. The swamp witch. And then we'll go to uh, sunrise and sunset. Okay, you know what? You know what? I know this is a bad idea as I do it, and I just don't care. You're aggravating the shit out of me. Get out of here. That same damn enemy just keeps running me down. Alright. So, we want to go... Hmm... I want to go up. God, God bless it. <laughs> so many wyverns. Wyverns. <laughs> um, we want to take our little boat over here. Damn wyverns, man. And then go through the swamps. This is the traditional Sir route to get here. Non-optimal. I love the little temples there that just serve no purpose in the game, but there's people living in them. Like, there's those little, the little temple buildings there, some of them have people living in them, and if you talk to them, like, it's just, they just look like normal townies. Like, they don't have special, special sprites or anything. And they're just like, hey, what's up? Like they're just generic townspeople that just live in forbidden temples in the in the in the deep dark swamps. All right, you little bastards.
Um, if you just go into the workshop mods and search Rings of Power, it should it should pop up. I think the maker was Atari underscore power was the person who made it. Hang on. I got you, fam. There you go. Yeah, if you if you subscribe to that, it'll download it and you'll be able to play it. I wonder if I should just try to kill her normally. I'm gonna try to kill her normally just for the extra XP because I wanna I wanna hit level nine sooner rather than later. Oh, hideous is spellbound <laughs> and zap. fight them so I, it kind of threw me when I saw the ridiculous uh, the ridiculous uh, sprites for the conjurers <laughs> for their faces I mean sorry <laughs> so she she can be killed but she's also I believe level 9 I'm pretty sure she can cast Jen on you if she goes first we got a hairlock. Didn't even have to use the finger. There you go. I'm not OP. You're OP. Alright. All wyverns die now. Actually, hang on a second. I need to take a screenshot of that because that's I don't have the I don't have the little boat icon. I only have the ship, so I need to get that. Let me. File save as one second. Um. Oh no, it's the ship that I don't have. Okay. Right? Yeah, it's the ship I don't have. Never mind. We'll get that in a second. I have a collection of all of the little the little sprites and icons and stuff that I try to keep up with. That I've pulled from the game, and then I use the uh, the little editor thing to like that was it like the magic cut or whatever to cut around them. There we go. All right, that is your craft. Save as. Okay. 
So down here is sunrise and sunset. We do need to go to cathedral. We'll go there in a minute. Youth milk taken. Banditos, Ermagerd. Show her the lock of hair. And that's everything we need for the ring of division. I guess we could go for the Power Lord now. We don't have the Master Spells, but I'll have to come back this way anyway. To get the Ring of Perfection. I'll we'll have to backtrack just a little bit. Power Lord is down there. Yeah. This is the path we want. Oh, never mind. I thought it would follow the natural line of the waterways. What a fool I was. Not there yet. Yep, so you have to talk to this guy to get the flag. Quest. Now we have it. Camp. Until dawn. Okay. Quest. Oh, yeah, that's right. Shut. Don't fight. I really shouldn't do this, but here, take one of the two keys that will unlock a physical manifestation of our God's power on Earth. Just don't tell my boss. In the end, time spent on your quest will be wasted. He's not wrong. He is not wrong. Y'all. I don't think that counts as flat. Hang on. There. Oh. Cute little in. Do, 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 do. 
Hey, that picture is of my real shape. I'm returned unto my original form. That poor enchanter was so close to finding the ring of mutation and I snatched it away from him. <sighs> Land. Desert Fortress. Oh my god. And here. The log. I want to get off the ride now, please. Thank you. This <laughs> using too much food and water. Please! Okay. And then we're going to come over here. There's our cave. There's our dragons. There's our mesmer. There's our lame mesmer. That was a bad blaze. Insane. Oh, well, shit. Okay. This is, this is how we fighting. getting real <laughs> okay and death these guys are making life difficult for me don't like that so those two are going to break free one turn before that one. Nope, never mind. He's out. Okay. And then... That's actually a little spooky. A blaze spell is no fun. Ah, dove, delicious. Take your pick of my hoard. A nice shiny ring of power. Doesn't fit on my claw anyway. like um it's not happening <laughs> Doo -doo. Doo -doo. just gonna keep blocking that shit all right <clears throat> So we're going to have Alexi go ham with stones, and then the other two are going to just use their basic attacks on Berserk. I think that's probably the best option. Maybe not. These, uh, these cadaver fights are going to be... Oh, this is going to suck. These cadaver fights are going to be kind of spooky with just three party members, just because they can block so much. We just have the potential to run out of mana very quickly fighting them. Let's 
So he's gonna get free this turn. And we're gonna let Alexi go. And then Mortimer's gonna go. And now we'll go to hold. And we will not risk it. Because he can cast bad spells. And spark. He's, he's dead and he's still blocking hits. Alright. And we'll just nectar on up. That's an option. You absolutely have that option, sir. Dazzle is good for these guys. Nice. Dazzle. Not quite. And spark to kill him. damage on that one. That's the one we were worried about. Oh, that's okay. We should be able to survive this. Yeah. No worries. BST. Um, stones. everything. Damn. What a 50-50 block chance. <laughs> Such little shitheads. I hate these monsters so much. With their little with their little club just like ding 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 like blocking everything. <laughs> Redonkulous. to know sometimes you catch these very quick glimpses of dialogue um when you get attacked by enemies like just that like he said like so what something something i would love to be able to like actually go i need to i need to like watch this and like slow down the dialogue and see what what they're actually saying i'm just very curious When you have these enemies that are, that show up and they're like, "Welcome," and then they attack you, and it's just like, I wonder, is there some sort of way that you could that you could get the game to let you actually talk to them, and do they have like unique dialogue options, or is it just placeholder stuff in there for for when they initiate a conversation, combat, whatever? So it looked like there were two there, but that's a lie, thankfully. So now we got a long walk to the next one, and this guy likes to cast Reaper as well. So you gotta kinda, there. Oh, not that time. And you seem confused. Got him. <laughs> Buck's just not very good after round one against single targets. 
Or at least not with the spell selection I usually give him. I mean, I could have Jolt. I never bought Jolt at the beginning for reasons. Even after I went back through there with 12,000 gold or however much I had, I still didn't buy Jolt. <laughs> I still just kept on rolling like, eh, whatever. I'll have Shock soon. There we go. You can save 25% on Voltage, Goblin. I was actually just, I swear to God, I was thinking a minute ago that I should say something about it. But I was like, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Goblin's already got it. I don't want to seem, I don't know, I'm so weird. I like don't want to encourage people to buy my game. Like, I don't want to seem like a shill, you know? Um, but yeah, it's on sale. It's on sale 25% off right now. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, like, I'm, I'm, I feel like you already have it. <laughs> don't, don't play games with me like that, man. <laughs> but yes, it is 25% off until the 28th of, um, November. I'm still waiting to see those Voltage streams. Everybody talks about Voltage streams. I haven't seen no Voltage streams yet, other than MJ. MJ streamed it. MJ doesn't even like JRPGs. MJ was like, I'm liking this. This is fun. This is very approachable. Like, it seems like the game is, is kind of like slowly increasing the difficulty over time, and it's giving me time to learn. And then MJ got completely clobbered by something and was like, oh... I see now that I was mistaken. <laughs> this is actually a hard game. <laughs> it's not Rings of Power hard. Fair. <clears throat> I would love to see, uh, see now you got me talking about it. If I can, if I can be a shameless shill for a minute, I would love to see some reviews because I know there's a ton of people that have bought the game. I don't know if people have, have played it, um, but I would love to see some reviews pop up about it, some honest but hopefully supportive reviews. Um, that would be awesome. But you know, y'all do you. I just appreciate. The support in any and all forms. <laughs> oh well, don't, well, don't don't stream if you're gonna be bitter. Stardew, oh yeah, Calray has been playing the shit out of Stardew ever since I got my new computer, because I gave her my old computer, and now she's learned what it's like to actually have a computer that can run Stardew, which seems like a really low bar, but it's a bar that she wasn't really able to pass effectively before um <laughs> so so now she's past that bar and she's she's quite pleased she's like year four of of her uh of her stardew experience all right y'all we got the gems let's go back and get the ring of perfection while we're over here and then that'll be us at level nine uh we might have to steal it uh-oh Oh, those are cool emotes. Hello, Desolate. Where did you get those from? I heard that they're giving people new new emotes. So, like, you're going to get extra emote slots and stuff soon.
I have both of the gems, Fezzik. Oh no! He's summoning a bunch of sorcerers to hassle me! <laughs> okay. So now we'll kill him for realsies. Oh, I have no sips. Hang on. Oh! Maybe I won't kill him. Maybe he'll just wreck me right here and now. Well, that's one of them. My man Herbert came in hard with a Reaper spell. Herbert, why? Thought we were bros. No, don't do this, Razor! There you go. Oh, Jesus Christ, he's casting Frenzy! Ah! So we need to confuse that POS. There we go. And now, unleash heck. There we go. Bubble bobble one. Oh, sniggity snap. Thanksgiving lurk. Thanksgiving thanks, Philip. Appreciate you. All right, he's out. He's back in. <laughs> oh. Well, the second fight against him was terrible. And now my max HP has been reduced. So I can't go fight the Power Lord right away. God damn it. Um, I can go over to um, Perfection, though. And then hit the uh, Temple there. Did I pass it? I might, have, I might have just shot right past it. I did, in fact, shoot right past it. So we need will, division, advancing, and blood. And we're done. Right? Only four rings of power left to collect. Making good time. I don't know why I just bought a life spell. Just clicking to click. <clears throat> that seemed unnecessary. 
Palrea. But... <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> is Calrea alright? <laughs> is the question. That's the real concern. Wait, did I just fuck up? No. Okay. She's drunk, y'all. She's gonna be like, I may be a little drunk. That should be a quote. I'm not drunk, Calrea. Come on, I'm feeling the, I'm feeling. Good. You should have just ground up some of the actual turkey. They wouldn't have known what to do with themselves. Damn, enough bridge zones? <laughs> is it because he ate too fast or is he just is he just is he just nuggeted now? That just tells me that their their diet is not um, varied enough, Calrea. If them getting canned food just instantly makes them sick. Also, Julius is special, so... Yeah, Julius is just special. He's like, this isn't chicken, and then promptly hurled himself onto the back of a chair and Heimlich himself, right? Now you listen here, and you listen good. Reaper! Oh, I should have, I should have insane him. Womp. That's okay. What was they? <coughs> the archers are going to probably live, maybe. I don't care if the I don't care if the archers live. I just don't want the knights to live because they can jack up my max health. There you go, they're dead. Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> Sometimes they instantly attack you, and sometimes they just watch while you kill their friends. I don't know. <laughs> um, that's, I'm nervous about this one. Oh. 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 Beautiful. I love it when the fish just sits still in the barrel like that. <laughs> Oh, it wouldn't even have mattered. I'm going to kill them all before they would have even gotten to attack. Beautiful. Twisted key. Summon the head of Gandalf wearing a detective hat. Dumbledore. 
Crown key. And... Just as they all watch me silently. Just like, hmm. I don't know who, who is that guy? I'm like, I don't know. Well, if we got... We got any at a key, so there's not a problem, I guess. No, there's a problem. Bow. Bow. <clears throat> Alright, well, the Conjurer's still up, but... The only thing is, Buck's not going to be able to cast Master now, so that might have been a... That might have been a, a fuck-up on my part. take off the phenomenal merch store thing I haven't updated I, I've got all sorts of designs I could update it and I just haven't and I don't feel particularly inclined to do so I need to just take it down there we go so now that's done Fly there. <clears throat> Alright guys, now let's go grab some more Rings of Power! So what do we need? Will, Blood, Advancing, Division. So... Oh, I already passed it. Womp! There we go. And that's just going to be an abandoned ship now. Silly fools. Scratch him. And now we will shortcut here. go see Yappa. Go talk to Yappa about a ring of power real quick. Buy another ship. Head to Division. Along the way, we'll get the Ring of Advancing and the Ring of Blood. Division will be our last ring this time. I assume you, you've tracked me here. I assume you're after the Ring of Will. Afraid so, Yappa. Give it to me. The Temple's not all powerful. I'm afraid you must fight me for it. Alright. Well... Share the wealth from Goblin Junkbot. Oh my goodness. Hang on. <coughs> Hang on a second. 
that was a pretty that it hasn't been long since the last one but the wealth has been shared 39 huzzahs 57 time for sippies two snap crackle pops two hat ons two hair ups one hat off six hair downs and three 60 hit mega combos are coming back to all of you who says redistribution of wealth doesn't work most people hang on all requests reject all refund boom <laughs> thank you so much for that share the wealth I don't know why I just hit clear the chat sorry I hit clear the chat sorry about that guys that was a that was a misclick The most reasonably expensive you could <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna question you on how you spend your points you had you, you had two 25,000 channel point redeems just waiting for you you could have made me play something you chose not why are you chasing me is he trying to attack me hang on a second I think that guy might have been trying to attack me I don't know. Huh. Interesting. <sighs> so that's Will done. Well, it's it's stuff off of a pre-designated list. <laughs> <coughs> so maybe that's why because you would have to pick it off of the list <laughs> for precisely that reason you saw you're like I'm, I'm aware of the list that's why I spent the 50 on share the wealth <laughs> yeah I need to try and play Zelda 2 again I'll do my best. I'll, I'll, I, I, I fooled around with it very briefly, and I wasn't really sure where to go. So I was just like, eh, this doesn't interest me. But I need to I need to try and play it again. That was one that I, I never really got as a kid. I've been watching Money Mertz and Tech Gamer 36 do speedruns of it lately. Um, it's a long game to, to like learn the speed run for, and it's a much longer game to just play casually. Like I feel like that would be a multi-episode game for me. I'd have to use save states, because I don't know if you can even save that game, can you? Are there save files in that game? I don't think there are. I think it's just a really long freaking game, right? Why would you do a thing like that, Kel? I've ever even seen Adventure Island. I know Rocket Sauna had talked about it being a, a jank race game. I know I've seen a copy of it for sale at one of the local retro stores, but I don't know anything about that game. Like, I don't even know if it's a platformer or puzzler or what. Oh, okay. 
That's another series I've never really played. Never really gotten into Wonder Boy. Listen here. Ewan. That's uncalled for and unnecessary roughness. Well, nothing like paralyzing the only guy on the field that can't hit you, so. There we go. That was at least a decent cast. <coughs> Not terrible. Um... Mean to first timers, but fair. Like Rings of Power. Alright, so we might get two consecutive Reapers here and just get our assholes tore up. Nope, dazzle. We're in the danger zone now. Yep, GG. <laughs> that was a party wipe. <laughs> for the brute force tactic. I'm going to do Reaper and Blaze and hope I kill them all. Or I'll weaken them enough that the last one will try to heal. Okay. Um, it is. It's it's incredibly cheap and the only the only difference between the first half of the game and the second half of the game is who is suffering from the cheapness. It's it's which which side is getting punished. <laughs> yeah, the game the game is wildly unbalanced and and not fair to first timers or veterans. I mean I died to the first mandatory fight in the game today, and I did everything right. I just had bad luck. <laughs> like that's you. I mean, you literally start your quest, and you can get beat to death by an old man casting punch, <laughs> and there's just nothing you can do about it if you just if he if he has good RNG and you have bad RNG. And then later you get to the point where if you have a full party, like really this area and the final boss fight if your whole party is level nine these are the only two places in the game where you could conceivably die unless you just choose not to do well like these are the only places you could reasonably expect to get killed and everything else is just a cakewalk once you get to like level seven eight nine so it's just there there it's the the power scaling is not like a balance it's like a seesaw in this game you start out on the bottom end of the seesaw and you end on the top end and that's pretty much just it. Now this is going to be another RNG one. Because we got three possible reaper spells here. That's a bad cast. She only got one row of bullets. <clears throat> so he wasted all his mana. That's the main baddie. He's wasting all of his mana. Okay. Hey, Divide, how are you doing, buddy? It's been a minute. How are you? I don't even know what country you're in right now. 31 months. Oh, my goodness gracious. Thank you so much for the 31 months in a row. Woo! <coughs> Hot. Diggity. <clears throat> You're in Belfast. Okay. So. So it's like. It's like midnight or 1 a.m. for you or something, isn't it? That's dedication. Okay. 
Yeah, I hadn't really been in touch. I knew you were. I knew that your trip was coming up. I didn't want to be bugging you while you were with family, but hopefully everything's going good for you. <clears throat> nice. Okay. Well, say hi to your boss for me. I'm, I'm assuming she's asleep, but if not. That was a messy fight, but we've done it. Oh, wait. A challenger remains. Never mind, he's dead. That's our nectar. We still got 20,000 food and water. Heck yeah. You can go right on to hell. Do not pass go. Do not collect 200 gold pieces. Not you, Divide. I'm talking about the enemy. <laughs> we gotta remember to go by Mr. Belmont's place as well. Don't let that slip our mind. Listen, guy. That's unnecessary. All right. And ladder number two. And... Boom. These guys are absolutely lost <laughs> die sorcerer like Captain America meme no I don't think I will I think we're going to be beating the 246, which is wild considering the 246 was with all the characters, but we also did a lot of flailing around with the, um, we did, we did a lot of flailing around with the, um, getting, getting the levels necessary to like get the conjurer. I think I, if I had like had a better idea of what I actually wanted to do at the, in the first section of the game, I probably could have saved about eight, 10 minutes. I don't know. We'll test it. There was there was also like the whole lead up at the beginning that got lost because I died. So this might be a new a new PV. All we got all we got left to do is we got to go get the ring of division. We got to not fuck this up, which I just did. That's okay. I can save it. Um, <coughs> go get the ring of division talk to Mr. Belmont get the holy seal and we're done level eight uh, cadaver just chilling in here <laughs> with no major spells just a shitload of HP just to troll you See if we can sneak past the other one. Yep. 
Yep. Fancy meeting you here. Seems the ring was real after all. Old Richie had it on him all the time. You are completely outmatched, my friend. You seem nice enough. A bit gabby, perhaps. But that's not a sin. That's the ring of advancing. Cute man was after my giblets, but we escaped. There we go. Now I gotta go see Mr. Belmont, steal his bandit pass, <clears throat> and then dip across the ocean to the city of Division, and then we'll summon a dra- or not Division, um, Dagania, and then we will summon a dragon, and... <clears throat> Head to the bandit hole to get our holy seal. There's the log. That's an interesting little side quest. Mr. Belmont is like one of Void's most trusted lieutenants on Earth. And um, super powerful knight. You can actually fight him when you get the Holy Seal. If you try to leave normally, he'll... Like, once you get the Holy Seal, he, he appears at the entrance of the castle and starts making a beeline for you. Um, <clears throat> but... His whole thing is he, he like, openly admits that he's, the ch he's like, the leader of a massive multi multi-continental enterprise of, like, criminals. And just wants to know why the people of Mesa, which is the merchants that live up on the Mesa, right? Uh, why they won't. He's like, I've never been able to get a foothold in this town. And I want you to see if you can find out why. And there's a, the log basically says that this, the, the magic sands of the Mesa protect them from, from vice and greed and sin. So, like, he, his, his evil can't... Uh, his evil can't corrupt them. It's just, it's it's a very interesting little subtext there that they're just like protected because magic sand. Hey, absolutely. Thank you so much for popping in, though, Divide. I hope that you've had a good trip and that we can catch up when you get back. I've missed seeing you, friend. Hell yeah. All right, guys. It's time. South to there. Um... Wait, no. I'm going to fly west until I hit here. No, I'm just going to fly all the way west. Yeah. Or do I want to fly east? 
Might be quicker to fly east. Yeah, we don't have to backtrack that way. Yeah, so basically once I hit the, once I pass over the cities of, um, <clears throat> or the temples of the sun and moon. This is going to be a close one for food, food consumption though. But once we travel over here. Get to the swamp. Head south. Land it. Nowhere else in the world have you felt the presence of such evil. This place reeks of void. <clears throat> okay. And now, faithful Lenny, who we saved from the prison all the way back in speed, lets us in. Camp. <clears throat> and away we go. Hello, Faminator! Oh my goodness. I was actually going to message you um, tomorrow because I was realizing I have not seen you in a while, like either live or in, in the streams. How have you been doing, buddy? I hope you're doing okay. I hope things are going all right for you and you're part of the world. I know no, nothing's really going okay for anybody in the world, but... I hope that you're hanging in there. All right, y'all. You got here just in time to watch me beat the game for the 47th time. Let's just hope for no double double master spells right off the bat. <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. Karate chop. <coughs> no master spell for him. Oh, I'm sorry. That sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. <clears throat> now, he does have his Necromancer up. His Necromancer could try to heal the party. The Enchanter chose not to cast Worm. No, I really I really do mean that. That's terrible. I'm sorry to hear that. Um. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus Christ. Why? <laughs> Well, Necromancer might die, but we've softened him up enough. His Necromancer's down, so no heals for him. All right, that's their whole party. Dead. Even... Counting the first run that we lost after 10 minutes on, that's over 10 minutes faster than I've ever beaten the game before. Even with the craziness, with not really being sure how to, how to, uh, you stumbled on the Skyrim videos, oh man. Um, thank you. Even, even with not really having the leveling down pat at the beginning, good run. Good run. All you need is all you need is the necromancer and the conjurer. All the other characters are just distractions. They're just there to make it easy. We don't need easy. That's it. We beat it. Once in the majestic realm of Nexus, we willingly gave all 11 rings of power to the great being. And in response to this gesture, Nexus restored the rings to their original form and returned the rod of creation to us. And then a great voice filled our head and he said, "Welcome to my realm." You alone of your race have shown the purity and courage to viciously murder your friends, to reclaim all the rings of power and return them to me. My brother Void has fled this world and I must follow. I skipped the first part. He and I are but two sides of the same coin. As much as he hates me, he cannot destroy me. I will ensure that Void does not return here. Someday it may be that we will join again and become that which we once were, greater and at peace. You have proved your worthiness and I shall leave the rod of creation in your trust. 
Use it wisely to rule your people. It upsets the balance between my brother and I, and we are better off without it. Good luck to you and your world with this, the being Nexus. Departed this dimension in pursuit of his brother, and so Buck too left the realm of Nexus and returned to his world. There he used the power of the Rod of Creation to build a mighty palace where the fount of heaven once stood. From that palace, he would direct the destiny of his world. <laughs> And that was an alarm telling me that some game posters I've been watching on uh, on eBay are going to be up for are going to the uh, the auction is going to be up in like 15 minutes. So we're going to find somebody to raid, and then I'm just going to lurk in the background, and we're going to finish up finish up the night purchasing some some game ads and get some backups. I think I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna decide. I'm about to decide. It's. The good ones are all ones I already have, but the fact that they're coming in a set of seven, and there's like a Kid Icarus, a Metroid, a Legend of Zelda, a Mario 2, like having an extra of all of those is really nice because they each sell for like 30 or $40 individually, and I, I'm considering putting them up on the wall in my office at work. So, Look at that handsome devil, as played by Sean Bean, the only Sean Bean movie where he doesn't die. That was Rings of Power, y'all. We did it. A light and dark challenge run brought to you by Phenomenal Entertainment Industries. I'll still be around, Faminator. Um, you can always chat with me. I will still be around. I just won't be gaming. That was a short run tonight. But that's okay. <clears throat> Naughty Dog Inc. The End. We have the run of the world. All that I see is my responsibility. So now I want to show you guys just very quickly. This is how people do the speed runs where they, they beat the whole game in an hour. You go to your map. Find a spot. And then you press A, C, and start on your, on your second player, your two player Sega controller. And now your dot is there. You have just teleported. <laughs> you have teleported to another spot on the map. I set this up ahead of time just so you guys could see how ridiculous that is. That's the speed run. Is you're literally just you're going around on the map doing this, and then unpausing, and then doing whatever you need to do there to get the thing. <laughs> That's the whole run. That's how you beat it in an hour. So maybe one day we'll try that just for fun. I'll have to map it out ahead of time. Um, I had set it up ahead of time so that my buttons were on my keyboard and I could just to show you that. But anyway, I said I was going to show that at the end. Let's get this nice title screen going again. While we look for someone to raid. Anybody has any suggestions? Anybody has any suggestions, feel free to shout them out now. I don't know who all's going to be live on Thanksgiving. Lag the Ripper is playing Breath of Fire 2. Um... Javanators playing Secret of Evermore, Randomizer. Lane Rainer says he's playing Mario 3, but I see Ninja Gaiden. not actually Black the Ripper is not actually moving so he's just he's just sitting there
We got somebody here on a BRB screen doing... God damn it, everybody! Why are you all on BRB screens? Play your damn games! <laughs> I just want to find somebody! Okay, no raid tonight. There's literally nobody actually playing. They're just all sitting on BRB screens doing uh, nothing. Big Pig Huss, thank you so much. <laughs> There's nobody actually playing their game. They're just, they're just farting off on the BRB screens. <laughs> Y'all are killing me. <laughs> or doing just chatting, which is fun and all, but... This is Rings of Power, Hus. We just finished beating it. It's the greatest open world RPG DOS game ever made for the Sega Genesis, and we love it. But unfortunately, we've already finished it. I got something about to happen I need to be off the game for. And uh, yeah. I don't, I don't know. These people all missed out on a nice little, nice little rings of power raid. <laughs> so anyway, um, thank you everybody for being here tonight on a holiday, spending your time with me. I appreciate you. I hope you had fun. I know I did. Um, I will be back Saturday morning, 8 a.m. Eastern with more Breath of Fire. We're going to be playing more Breath of Fire 1 as requested by Tomja. Um, I might do a stream tomorrow. I don't know. I might be an adult and work on some of my homework that's due Monday that I'm starting to repeat. You know, it's, it's a repeating thing with me. I keep saying I'm going to do it and then I don't, and then I cry. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Anyway, I don't want to interrupt y'all, but I'm going to go. Feel free to stay in the chat and continue connecting. Um, everybody send, send good thoughts, thoughts and prayers, send thoughts and prayers to fame and Aider's family. And, uh, hopefully, hopefully good news comes back soon. Um, hope to see you all Saturday, but if I don't until next time, stay healthy, stay safe out there. Y'all later.